Hello and welcome to the Bowler CBT Labs CCNP Security Series. My name is Matt Bowler and in this video we will be taking a look at uh, the second lab regarding uh, routing protocols and authentication techniques using those routing protocols. In the prior lab we discussed keychains and RIP version 2 as well as EIGRP and how to imp implement uh, authentication using both of those routing protocols and where keychains come into play uh, respectively. In this video we will discuss OSPF, the two types of authentications that can occur, uh, the types of packets which we will see during some debugging, and we will also discuss BGP authentication, uh, pretty straightforward there but the, if you will be configuring a lot of peers we will configure a uh, peer group as well just to kind of show how we can streamline that process. So to get started here we are using the same topology that we used for the EIGRP and RIP version 2 lab. We have four routers currently running in GNS3. These are uh, 3725s and we will only actually be using three of the routers, routers 1, 2, and 3. We will set up uh, OSPF Area 1 and BGP Autonomous System 1. We'll do one at a time. We'll, we'll start with OSPF and then we'll clear that config out and we'll move on to BGP from there. So let's get started on router 1. The first thing that we will want to do here is configure routing for OSPF so um, go ahead and enter the router OSPF1 and enable networking uh, routing here on the network for networks uh, the, the two X's here are 192, 168 and then we have the third and fourth octets that follow so we will enable routing for the 3.0 network slash 24 mask and the 1.0 slash 24 on router 1 to begin with. Go ahead and enter the network command and we'll use a wildcard mask to go ahead and do that and we will enable it for area 1. Go ahead and do this for both networks just to get started. Now, when I uh, talk about the different types of authentication that can occur, we are discussing area authentication and segment authentication. With area